Hi guys, new Zen UV update is here. In version 3.1 we fixed a lot of bugs and added new cool features. Let's have a look at them. First of all we added Pi Menu Assist. It's little block below where you can see all the commands. And for example, if you're using alternative commands, right now I would like to select similar islands. I need to hold Shift key and you can see that it's highlighted and now you can click and select similar islands. If you don't like Pi Menu Assist, you can easily disable it in the preferences. We have developed a separate ZenUV core library for new Macs. So if you have Mac M1 and you want to install ZenUV core library on the Silicon application, you need to go to documentation, go to installation, and here we have a separate topic about with all the described steps about how to install it. In Blender, if you have UV map, but you have some islands not unwrapped, it means that they have zero area. But how to select these islands and how to fix them? And to solve this issue, we added select by UV area operator. And by clicking it, you can see that the condition is zero area. And now we can see all these islands that don't have UVs at all. And now you can work with them and fix this issue. You have even more options because you can get area of any selected face or island. You need to click this button and you're receiving this value. And for example, I would like to select all the small islands. I need to click select by area, choose another condition within range, or you can use more than or less than. I will use within range and now from range from 0 to 3.35 I have selected all the small islands. We improved our main operator that is called Zen Unwrap. And now you can see that there is like no settings at all. But where to find them? And now when you are selecting islands and when you want to hit Zen Unwrap you can see that now we have much more settings in the window here and that means that it became more flexible because here on the fly you can switch between modes whole mesh and for example select it only just by one click. Also you can see that here we have global mode for mark settings and it means that now all the mark operators are using these settings but if we disable use global mark settings you'll see that here appear it like seams and sharp and for example right now we can disable seams but enable sharp or enable seams by disable sharp we added new modes to Zen Unwrap. One of them is called Sim Switch. When you hit in Zen Unwrap and you're using this Sim Switch mode, and if you had some Sims selected, so they will be removed. And vice versa. So if you didn't have any Sims and click Zen Unwrap with this mode, it will appear here. Super easy to place and remove Sims. To show you one more mode, I will ruin existing UVs by using randomize tool. And then I will select some polygons and click then unwrap. And I will choose the mode that is called unfold vertices. And you can see that selected vertices were unwrapped, but they are still the part of this island. And in this way you can unwrap just a separate part of one UV island. If you want to exclude some islands from pack, you can use new excluded system. It's really close to the Finnish system, but it works in a different way. For example, I would like to exclude this glass from packing. What I need to do, I will tag it as excluded. We can display it. Also, we can offset it 
And next time when you pack islands, you will see that they won't be packed at all. For example, we can select these excluded islands, untag them, invert selection, tag other islands as excluded, and again use pack. And now when we hide excluded islands, we can see that now all our glass islands are packed for the whole square. We improved Quadrify Island Operator and now when you Quadrify something you can also click Tag as Finished and it means that it will be automatically not unwrapped next time when you click in for example then unwrap. Align tool received new mode that is called Position and it means that you can grab position of selected element or island and also place islands or elements according to this position. And for example, we can select island, grab position, select all islands and align all the islands according to selected. Or for example, we can select this island, again grab position, select all the islands and get all islands in one place. Now we have more possibilities about how to sort your islands. Now we added really interesting thing that is called like sorting by islands position on the mesh. To do it you need to select all the islands and click distribute and sort. Now for example we will use island mesh position Z. And it means that we will use this ZX and first island will be A and the last one will be island B. The same, again select, distribute and island mesh position X, Y. And now the first island is C and the last one in this row will be island D. Super easy to use. Renaming tool for UV maps received more options. And right now when you're renaming something you can use numbering or you can rename only active UV map using custom name for example. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.